What's going on, everybody? John Stamper here, Dental Cast Productions. Very excited to be with you here live in the 2019 Hinman meeting. And very excited to have Matthew Petchel from Swipe with us on the podcast. How are you doing, Matthew? Hey, hey. Good to have you. And uh, so we want to get right into a little bit about this exciting app that you've put together, really kind of changing the way that people get information, which I'm really excited to learn more about and have you share. Cool. Yeah, you're not messing around. You want to just jump right to it. Okay, <laughs> here we go. So yeah, the, um, you know, the, 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 the idea for Swipe came, it, it, I can't believe it, it's been two and a half years, but um, I'm a big uh, Flipboard user. Flipboard is, is, a, is a news aggregator for consumers, right? So you join Flipboard with your email, you say, what are you interested in, right? I'm interested in golf, wine, travel, cats. Right, and then right. you just get the information, it sort of filters it down to just that. So I didn't say politics, so you notice I wouldn't get politics in my news feed or whatever. So I started thinking uh, how interesting that was and I started to search inside of Flipboard for um, dental news. And they had one category called dental care. And I said, okay, well I'll follow dental care. And every day I kept expecting some dental news <laughs> to come right, through or right, something. Right. And every once in a while, maybe once every two or three weeks, there'd be a, an article on the new toothbrush or some floss or something. And I'm thinking, all right, well, this is not exactly what I was looking right. for. So, and then the, you know, the kind of the idea came, I went, well, this, you know, I'm in the industry. I understand the way the dental media works. I understand the way companies work. I understand the way dentists work. So this could, a dental version of this could work. Um, so I just started doing the research and connecting with people to kind of build it and uh, and put it together. And it's taken, you know, it took took a year and a half to just kind of pull it all together. Sure. We launched it last year, sure. and uh, it's been the response has been great. You know, the people that are using it love it. It's it's a great way. You know, Swipe is a great way to keep in touch with the industry. That's the mm -hmm. the main thing it does is it allows you to it aggregates all this information, this great information specific to our industry, right? And it just and it puts it right into an app in your pocket, on your phone, so you don't have to flip through magazines, which we know are, are you know, starting to go away, and it just yep. pulls all that good digital content. And it's focused on what you're interested in. So if you didn't select the hygiene category, you don't see hygiene, right? right? So it saves you time. It's, how I describe it is, the, 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 the old way, right, is when you want information, you go, all right, I want some information, I'm gonna type in and go, I'm gonna go look for the information. That's the old way. The new way is, I've already preset my sort of my interests, and now the information comes to me. Right. And now all I have to do is do my own little high-level sifting yep. to kind of yep. get to it. So, in a nutshell, that's what Swipe is. We we call it it's it's dental everything all in one app. Um, but basically, it's it's Apple News, Google News, Flipboard, any kind of news aggregator that you might use in your personal life. Right. It's specific to dentistry. So I remember Matthew going into dental practices and at times going into the to the dentist's office and seeing all those stacks of magazines on the desk. Right. Right. And uh, that's changed. Yeah. It's changing a lot, like you said. Yeah. And so let's talk a little bit about some of the feedback you've had from you know some of the doctors, some of the people that are using the app, and what it's been like for them really to, like you said, get the news that they want when they want it. Especially with how their world has changed, it's, be it's become busier, right. more complex, things like that. Yeah. So so that's one thing we definitely know is is people are not getting less busy in their life, right? There's just too many, so many distractions out there and there's too, so many things going on that, that we don't need more, we need, we need less. But the only way to do that is filter, right? Sure. And, and kind of eliminate some of the clutter. And, you know, we, we just know, and this isn't a knock on, on media or print, we just know that print is just, it's kind of a, it was great for what it is and it's good, I still believe it's good for deep learning. Right. Like if you want to learn something deep, Right, uh, reading a book is still there's still value right, in that. Right. There's still value in having something that I can that I can reference maybe as a resource. But for kind of the more casual or or somewhere in between the mm -hmm. casual and the deep learning, there's just such a great need for for a, di a digital way because it's 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 always with me. Right? right. I mean, the biggest benefit is is when I'm ready to read something, and it, if I don't have it on me mobile, it's on a, in a magazine on my desk five miles away. Right. How do I? Right. You know, get to it. Now, right. a lot of the publishers say, well, it's on our it's on our website too, but you know, the the beauty is and, and this is another key differentiator I think with what makes Swipe really unique is a lot of the, you know, the 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 publishers that are in dentistry are all great yeah. and 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 love them, support them, and they're mostly almost all really supportive of Swipe because we're really promoting their content. Sure. Sure. But they're they're just they're one silo, right? Mm -hmm. So like mm -hmm pick any of the publications, they have one view on everything. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that one view, but what we do is we give 
a view of everything. It's more right. of a 360 view because right. you get on any one topic, you don't, you're not stuck with just one magazine or one publisher's opinion right. on it or what they're writing. Mm -hmm. You get all of it. So it's, it really is a, is a, is a better tool to, to keep up to date, stay educated, and learn new things. You know, we feed a lot of, um, one of the things that I've always thought was missing in this industry is, I mean, there's no shortage of industry news, there's no shortage of clinical content, mm -hmm. uh, that's all a lot out there, right? right. But the, the more the motivational, inspirational stuff, you know, dentists and hygienists and people in this industry on that level are business owners, right? right and that right. sometimes gets forgotten and lost in, mm -hmm. that, in that it's not just about drilling and filling and figuring out these procedures, it's, it's about payroll, it's about managing staff, mm -hmm. it's about all these things that are, whether you own a, a bar, a restaurant, a deli, or a dentist office, right. you've got to deal with these things. So we try to push a lot more of that in there. So we, you see more of that in Swipe than you'll find in other publications, and that's something we, we do as original content sure. that helps round it out to sort of offer a different perspective and a different view. Absolutely, well I think what's interesting about your story, I know that you have uh, a very large background in marketing and media and all of that, but the Swipe team has an interesting group of individuals that yeah. are no dentistry from a lot of different angles. So talk a little bit about them and what really I think what that has brought to the depth of what you guys are bringing to the industry. Sure, yeah, so so I'll start liner, linearly. I don't know if I said that <laughs> right, but from when from when the idea came two and a half years ago, the, the my very first call was to uh, Tony Stefanu, who I know you know, uh, who is an industry connector. That's his yeah. business card should just say industry connector because <laughs> I think within two connections of him, you can connect with anybody right. in dentistry. And I sat down with him at the Greater New York uh, two and a half years ago, and I, I just gave him a two minute overview. I said, hey, I want to do news aggregation just on dental, kind of like this. And he says, I'm in. He goes, this is great, I love it. Uh, and we talked for half an hour and then we, we said, all right, let's set a call. We set a call for next week. And I said, okay, well, we're going to need a developer. He goes, I think I've got somebody. So we added in Ekram, Ekram Khan, who is, uh, you know, has developed apps in this industry, software, he's, he's been around 20 years and knows the industry, the right partner for the job. And then we went and found an investor who was, and we really wanted, we didn't want an outside investor. Mm -hmm. We had opportunities to get people who didn't know dentistry. We really wanted uh, somebody inside, but we also really wanted a clinician yeah. because we wanted to have that built-in right. feedback from someone who would use it from on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. And so Dr. Jim Arnold was our, yeah. our investor and has been invaluable as a, as a resource for, for input and feedback. So between the four of us, we really cover just about every corner yeah. of this industry. And we added up our one day, a couple months ago, we were sitting around doing one of our strategy sessions and we added up over 100 years of experience in this industry. So we know the industry, right. um, we know the media side, we know the dental side, we know the clinical side, we know the technology side. Yeah. It's just pulling it together and launching yeah. it. And that's that's been, uh, so that's the easy part, right? right? Everything right. I just described was really easy compared <laughs> yeah. to uh, launching it and just growing it is has yeah. is been has been the hardest the hardest challenge. Yeah, and I know in, in several conversations with you guys, I know I had the opportunity to do a podcast with all of you. It was really cool to to listen to Dr. Jim Arnold talk about his experience of the publications right. and now having this all on his phone. Yeah. But I like the fact that you bring up getting it out there because I think that's what you know I want to continue to do because I, I know the conversations I've had with you guys people that use it love it yep. and so it's just a matter of you know get, you know download it get used to it get it into your behaviors yeah. and that's how people can get a lot of news and I, then I think there's other there's another side of this which are the companies and that that you are working with it gets right. word out about what they're doing sure. which I think is a win-win for everybody yeah so it's important to note that swipe is a is an app right it's it's on your yep. phone there's an there's a, a iTunes you can go to iTunes and download it uh, and then there's a Google version so there's an Android Android and Apple version. Um, it's Swipe Dental, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it does a lot of things. Mm -hmm. The main thing it does is this news aggregation. But there are some other things, really cool things it does. Yeah. Um, one of the one of the things I think is really unique to it is our digital magazine feature, yep. which allows you to save when you see an article or something you're interested in. You can save it. You can. It's basically like a saved folder on your computer, really. Right. But it's a digital magazine, so you save it in there, and then you can reference it later or whatever. So you could have, you know, you could go through it and you could just flip and you could create a digital magazine called uh, John's Interest interesting articles. Mm -hmm. And it's just articles you found that are interesting. But you could also have another one, it's unlimited. You could have as many digital magazines you want. You could have one called um, uh, di digital, uh, digital Technology right. in Dentistry. And you could just put you know, news and information articles 
on that topic. Right. And then that allows you, once you have this digital magazine, it looks just like a magazine, but it's digitally in the app. Uh, you can share it, mm -hmm. uh, you can save it, you can put it on Facebook, you can do so many different things with it. Right. Um, and we're, we're, we're doing an event, so another thing we've sort of, one of those uh, uh, un, uh, unrealized benefits of it that we didn't plan for, but it sort of popped out was, so we're doing an event in a few weeks in New York City with a, a uh, organization, and they're going to use Swipe as their communication tool to the to the attendees of their yeah. meeting. Yeah. So they they have to, everybody that attends has to download the app, and they're going to use a digital magazine called the event, whatever their the name of the event is, and that's going to be their they have a welcome video in it, all the speaker bios, the mm -hmm. agenda, and then they're going to have a way to deliver the CE yeah. inside of the app yeah. through sort of the explanation of it at the end. So it's really just a you know what Swipe is? It's a great little communication tool, yep. and uh, it aggregates the information is a great starting point, but it does it does a lot of other things too. Yeah. I love the idea of the digital magazine, back to the what you were talking about with some of the professional development content, like sure. outside of the clinical things, right. you know, for the dentist to save, maybe at a later time go over with their team, or maybe even create a digital magazine for their practice, right? right. For the right. content that he or she may want to talk about at a later time. It's right. a great idea. Yeah, and there, you know, there's, the, the Swipe is really for anybody in the industry. So our, our main um, users are dentists. Sure. Uh, probably after that, it's industry people yep. who can use to keep in touch with what's going on with competition and learn just different things about new products and launches. Um, hygienists are really mm -hmm. big. Office managers are also yeah. really big, and yep. um, it's a great resource for them. I don't think you know. There's only one real organization inside of dentistry that's focused on office managers, yeah. and it's like wildly successful. But again, it's just one view. There, are, every publication in this industry puts out information on for office managers they can right. use, but only one organization exists. So again, great organization, yep. but it's one silo. Sure. And we give, and like, like I said, we publish a lot of stuff that's that's not things you would find in, in, in traditional dental publications that, you know, whether mo motivating employees is the same, yeah. m motivating millennials is the same whether, like I said, you run a, a coffee shop or yep. a dental office, yep. it's still the same mindset of how you connect with those people. And you know, that reminds me of one of my favorite books on that topic is this, um, the guy who runs Zappos, um, the shoe company. Yeah, that Tony Shea. Yeah, yeah, Tony Shea. So yeah. his book uh, called Delivering Happiness is, you know, it's, at first glance you think it's about customer service. There are some great pieces of wisdom in there about managing millennials. Good example of how it's not a book about dentistry, yet right. really good information that's practical to anybody in yeah. dentistry. Absolutely, I love it. So. What are you excited about? Like when you look at dentistry as a whole in the next six months, a year, I mean, I'm sure this whole process for you being a part of this app and a lot of the work that you've done in the past, but as you look forward with all these things changing, what's what's really exciting that you're, you're looking forward to? Yeah, I mean, th this industry is, what I'm excited about is the change that's about to happen. So I've been in the dental industry 17 years, and 17 years ago, it was what I would say normal. Right. Let's just use that as an right, expression. Right. Whatever normal is, right? right? And it was normal for maybe the last 13, 14, 15, whatever it is. Yeah. About three years ago, it started to shift. And, and not just in a technology sure. perspective, but it, it did shift in technology, mm -hmm. right? More digital scanners, mm -hmm. more 3D printers. But more with just the, it, it, it's as simple as the people. The, the industry got younger really fast, right. like almost overnight. I was I was at a trade show and I was like, where are all those people that I used to know? Right, those right. industry veteran guys that right. I used to know. And it's <laughs> like, they're all now, now there's all these 30 year old, 32 yeah. year old entrepreneurs who are doing really interesting things yeah. that it just wasn't, seems like the, the this this age of, uh, of entrepreneurism sure. has really come through dentistry yep. in, yep. and obviously, you know, uh, dental students are now more empowered and, uh, the way we communicate is different, and mm -hmm. all those things. So I'm just ex what I'm excited about is the the the, the sweeping change that is yeah. going on right now, yeah. and it'll go on I think for the next few years. And just I mean everything's going to change. Yeah. The the these shows that we're at. Yep. You know the 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 big giant trade show has to evolve. What does sure. that mean? I don't know what it means. If I knew what it meant, I'd right. be doing it. Right. 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 But um, it's 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 are they going to be these big events for twenty thousand people? I don't know. Yep. Are they going to be more show-based where it's more entertainment? I don't know. Is right. it going to be just CE events? Is it going to be smaller, regional? Is it going to be a mix of a hybrid of online and, yeah. I, I don't know, yeah. but yeah. they're going to change. We know sure. that, We know that for using that sort of example, the, the 15 years prior, 
trade shows pretty much stayed the same. Right. And now it's like, okay, we've got to figure this out. And right. what does it mean? And it'll mean different things to different organizations. They're yeah. still, trade shows are still working, yeah, right? Absolutely. And some of them are still growing. Yeah. But we know that it's not going to just continue, just like sure. the print industry, right? Sure. We know that print industry is still doing fine, right? These magazines are still 150 yeah. pages thick or whatever, and advertising still working. But yeah. we know that it's not the future, so we've got to figure out what's that bridge. Right. And uh, I like all the energy that, that younger people are bringing yeah. to it. And you too. I mean, yeah. doing what you're doing is we need more. And obviously, you know, podcasts are a, um, a good example of that. Yeah. How many dental podcasts were there five years ago? Maybe like three. Maybe like, I think zero. <laughs> I don't think, yeah, so, I, think so, like I mean, didn't, was it Howard was probably the yeah, first Howard one. Gary, but yeah. I don't think, yeah. I don't think five years ago they were doing it. I think it yeah. was more like three or four. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, one day there were three, yeah. and then six months later there were 20, and yeah. now there's 50. I yeah. mean, and yeah. so that's kind of cool that the information yeah. is being compartmentalized like that so sure. you can really get that learning and sort of end that around to swipe is we also aggregate podcasts in right there. so right. if you want to get all the podcasts that you yes. you know uh, they all can come to you through swipe well, that's as a well. great way to do it too i'm glad you brought that up because i think a big because as they're growing and and i hear it all the time matthew it's you know they're driving on the way to the practice driving home they want to listen they want to catch yeah. something up stories and all that or what have you and to have that all in one place is, is awesome yeah so. so that's it well this has been great you know i mean love what you guys are doing at swipe and uh you know want to let everybody know again you know go out to itunes go out to the google play download swipe get it on your phone they're continuing to do great things and i think what's great about technology with you know what matthew talked about is as they're learning more the speed of how they're able to be able to supply everybody with a lot of the stuff on the app is, is going to continue to grow. So. Yeah, yeah, and it's funny. Yesterday, um, we we publish some industry information before the publishers even publish it, right? Because we go get it at night, yeah, and then they sometimes push it out during the day or right. maybe a week later. We push it out that day, so yeah. it's like, and and you know, at first you're like, okay, they're going to like that. The ones that, that we're doing that with are like. We're cool, man. Push right. our you could as long as you're pushing our content yeah. and linking back to us, we're we're totally cool with it. So yeah, we get it. We push stuff a little faster. We're a little more nimble and can do that. So yeah, it's uh it's and it's free. I don't know if we talked about that. Yeah. And swipe is free to to the user, and all you need is your email address to join, and and you can start seeing That's all the it. content. Simple stuff. All Simple. Right. Well, listen, everybody. Listen, we're gonna excited to uh, to continue on here. We got a lot of great guests this afternoon. We're gonna highlight a little bit about the oral cancer cause with Linda Miles and Robin Morrison. So, really excited to talk about that and continue to bring some great guests to you here in Dental Cash Productions. So, thanks, Matthew. You bet. Thanks, Appreciate John. Appreciate it. Yep. Thanks for having me. Yep.